Hey guys, this is going to be something I'm going to put in the beginning of each and every one of these uh, installments of Beta Week. Basically, this is just going to be me reacting to particular series that you may or may not uh, want me to react to at a certain time. Depending on the popularity of particular ones that I get uh, get to is going to dictate like the order of which I'm going to be watching them. There will be other series down the line, of course, but these are the five that it has interested me or may interest you in some way, shape, or form. So... Yeah, just put down in the comment section about if you like it or not, if this is something reactionary, if it's not, I, I'm accepting all feedback when it comes to this. And also do tell me if the studio or whatever area, whatever I'm reacting to is okay with reactions, things, and the worst thing they're going to do is just take away the monetization and stuff like that. If that's the case, then I can easily post up on YouTube with no fear of getting a copyright strike with what happened with Steven Universe. So... Yeah, be sure to tell me that if it's safe, if other people do it and they're perfectly fine with it. it like, you know, other reactions that react to this show and they're perfectly fine with no drawbacks, then tell me. Because then I can just post up regularly and not have to do a Google Drive. But I'm doing Google Drive just to be safe, as per usual when it comes to this sort of stuff. So, yeah, uh, this is Do You Want Be Universe. Enjoy this sort of, uh, sort of thing, and yeah, bye. What's up guys, it's UMB Universe, and this is going to be uh, another installment of Beta Week. Beta Week is all about me reacting to five particular shows, and whichever one gets the most positive feedback, views, and whatever other uh, algorithmic thing that I'm looking for when looking to do a new thing, most likely if I enjoy it or not, uh, will be the one I'll continuously, uh, continuously watch. But in Milo Murphy's Law, if that happens to win, then I'll just go to the second best thing that people want. This is going to be The Loud House. Uh, this is a show made in uh, on Nick, and that was posted out on Nick. And I think it's in season two right now, as far as I can remember. And I have the synopsis here, because I need to know what I'm getting myself into without just randomly going into it. I know that takes some of the blindness out of the blind reaction, but I'm, I'm afraid you, might, you guys are going... Uh, going to put me into something weird. And it, the only reason why I needed to go up on background on this is that I did have a person introduce this to me on my own personal level in, when it, here in college. And for those of you who don't care about the origins of this stuff, I forgot to say, link in the description below for the, the reaction, just in case you haven't known. Just that, that, that's it. Head off down there if you don't want to know the origin stories of me getting into this. But for, uh, for, for lack of a better term, someone has introduced me to this, but they only showed me in like a little like thing on the internet saying Nickelodeon has made uh, their own harem show. I'm like, so it's about a guy with a whole bunch of girls? But then I saw that it's actually uh, the middle child of a bunch of kids and the rest are girls. When I hear harem, I think of those animes that have a whole bunch of harem with one guy and a whole bunch of girls. So as soon as they hear, said that, I'm like, that's a little creepy when it comes to a, a, a brother and sister that weird. But I anyway, since it's just like one guy and a bunch of girls uh, and it's all sisters, I think from, you know, literally for lack of a better term, this is probably going to be the best series for me, ever. Like, period. Period. Uh, because, uh, for those of you who don't know from being on my channel, I am, uh, uh, I am the only male in a, in a family of nothing but females. I, I got five sisters. Have all, my, my sister had two, uh, my eldest sister had two daughters. And literally every single family member has more females than there are males. And I am no exception to that. I mean, whoa. So... If this show is going to be about how the life of a kid with a whole bunch of sisters is going to be, not only will I be able to relate to this kid, I think this might be the best show of all time, for me, at least. So, with all that being said, I'm going to get started into it. I'm going to be reacting to the first ep uh, first and second episode, just to reach off the 40-minute point, because I did that for Justice League action, and I did that for Milo Murphy's Law. Might as well do it for this, too. I'm also going to do it for Wander Over Yonder, and I, oh, and I already did it for Ben 10, but uh, technically I already did Ben 10, like, a a while back ago for something I was going to do, but I'm just going to save it here. So, yeah, let's. Get, I'm going to get started, and hopefully you guys enjoy this as much as I hope to enjoy this. Let's go 3, 2, 1 now. Alright, starting things off with the first episode. Starting things off with the first episode, I have to involve, well, first let me gather my words together, because this is actually something I want to talk about. This, this show has a lot to do with all the things that... I'm pretty sure this show was made in 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 some sort sort of like like memory of like past uh, of people with this sort of same thing being a kid uh, being the only uh, boy out of 
a bunch of sisters. I I have to relate to this because that's exactly what I am. It, it, except I have five less of what Lincoln here has. Either way, though, having multiple sisters in, in the group, I wonder if, it, like, it can only imagine what other possibilities I can relate to this kid about in the coming next uh, episodes. First episode just involves him not uh, trying to trying his best to reach a reach a show, and knowing since he has a whole bunch of sisters, uh, the sisters it's even shown in the be in the very beginning where you see them all huddling around the TV. Uh, he has pretty much no personal space to himself and wants to see it. And since he does not have a TV in his room, the only TV is the master TV in the living room, is what we used to call it in our house. Now. Seeing him, seeing him how to go through this struggle is definitely entertaining, especially seeing all the different personalities and different uh, things that the other sisters can do uh, and will do uh, is also really fun. I, I, I'm going to expect a lot of hijinks in, in the most brilliant of hijinks. My favorite, my favorite sisters are definitely in the range of, hold on, let me see if I can go back to the thing. My favorite sisters are Lucy, Luna... Uh, Lucy, Luna, and Le uh, Lisa. It, 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 for top three, those are my fa those are my favorite. I like Luna's punk uh, rock attitude, and I love and I love her like little sh uh, spiel about her being the, the great musician that she is. Lucy's great with her personality and uh, everything about her that just it just screams hilarity. And uh, Lisa, her her intelligence. I want Lisa and Dexter to be together in a room just to talk for 10 minutes. I just want to see where that goes, because while I do believe Dexter is smarter than Lisa, I, I, I have to say Lisa might beat him in conversation worthy in forms of, like, speech. Because Dexter has an entire lab, unless there's an episode where we go to Lisa's lab, which which is bigger than, like, a continent, apparently, because this dude, because Dexter has, like, a, a ton of things, a ton of areas. Gotta say that much, but yeah, Lisa, when it comes to her articulation and speech, I don't even know if I'm using that word right, but she has a big, big range in, in, in speech here. As for Dexter, most of the time when Dexter talks, he keeps it on a low brow because he knows probably if he continues to use those gigantic words, he's not going to get the, the straightforward message to the people he's talking to. So, yeah. However, okay. Now, uh, as, uh, who else? No, no, uh, that's it. As for every other sister, they're in the range, uh, in the same range. Uh, of just great characters. I, I love them all. They remind me so much of my own sisters. Lori, Lori in, in, in included, especially, especially with my oh jeez, man, it, it's like it's like it's like her face is it's like my sister's face is plastered on Lori, and I'm just like that's you. I just found a cartoon equivalent of you, and she's blonde. So mm, all right. So as as for what I said about the when it comes to like the the, the mom and dad. Uh, also, I also see this picture here. I see that there is a bird, a hamster, a cat, and a dog. I'm gonna say that's probably all of the animals that they have. And here I thought they were all gonna have their own personal animal, like this one was gonna have a mongoose, this one was gonna have a, a, a pygmy marmoset, and this one was gonna have an armadillo, or something like that. But no, it's, it's the standard... It's the standard what you would see in an everyday house, you know, a dog, a cat, a hamster, and a bird. I don't see birds very often, but I almost got a bird when I was young, so it's not impossible. So, yeah. Uh, what's great about this series is just, I love series with multiple characters, because it, it, it proves a particular uh, teacher, in, it, it proves a particular teacher in my, uh, in my profession of where I'm going wrong, and also brings out new possibilities of what to go off in the rest of the, what what you see. Uh, he said it's impossible to have multiple primary, like, base characters clumped into one because you don't know where the focus is supposed to be and it might, you know, disband. While the main character is Lincoln, you can get main character vibes and statuses throughout all the other personalities that the sisters have. Gr granted, uh, they're not going to be prominent, aka they're going to be talking to the screens very one episode or something like that, but I like having them around, and the show would be way different, let's say, if there was only five of the ten sisters that, that are here. Like, it, it, picture that. Instead of the five older sisters, you only have the five younger sisters with Lincoln, and he's the eldest of, of the other five sisters. How would that go? And he was the youngest of the five sisters, making it so that it's literally just a show about my life. Literally. That's it. That's, I'm using that so correct. Literally, a show about my life with... Uh, youngest of five older sisters, but in this case, since he has five younger sisters, he has something to fall back on. Since being he's also older than them, he also has responsibility over them as well for being the older one. Whatever. 
So yeah, and thanks and thanks to Lori. I'm probably gonna be saying literally a lot, aren't I? That's that's gonna be a thing. That's gonna be a thing. That word is it, 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 you know how if you see a new you know you hear a new song and you love the new song. It's so great. It, you don't know it yourself, but your body just said, "Wow, this song is great. I can't wait to listen to it so much that I hate it." That's exactly what it's going to with literally with literally right now. It was a word that was just a part of everything. Heard it. Some people use it wrong, but some people use it, you know, for comedy related purposes and stuff like that. But until I heard uh, uh, the word crimes by uh, uh, Weird Al Yakovic, I'm like, yeah, how they use that word is really wrong. I, I, I would happen to do the same thing that Weird Al would do if they use it wrong again. So, yeah, that, that's going to be pro uh, kind of bothersome. Only when she uses it right, because in one moment she did use it right. Oh, okay. All right, all right, okay. Well, what? Oh, but, but for the rest of my review, when it comes to the show in general, first uh, the the episode A and episode B just involves him saying something he really wish he hasn't because he realizes that Lori just was sorry for what she did. She immediately left to go buy him a new one, which kind of happened with me and my uh, uh my eldest eldest sister. Uh, back when I think when I uh, back when she broke, I think. She definitely broke something. I don't remember what it was. I was very young back then, so sorry if I can't remember. But let's just say, same scenario, same thing that happened. Then we get on to the other, other episodes. It just shows that it, it, he just got lucky. And also got really unlucky after she finds the note. The, the, granted, you should never just keep a note of how much you hate a particular anything and then write it down after they reach that point. I have a list for characters I hate when they do something really unforgivable. It's in my eyes. But, you know, I don't actually you know, keep it round or anything. It's not like it's right next to me or anything like that. So, yeah. Uh, this, it, that, it, mm, the, the, the things that Lincoln does does remind me a lot of myself when I was around his age, I guess I can say that. And as for episode 2 for episode A, it's ex the, bully, the bully scenario. So many things that this one episode entails hits me too hard. Almost entirely too hard. Too hard in, in, in the matter of I'm scared of how accurate the show can be. Like, if you have a bully, I had a bully, and as soon as my sisters got involved, things either escalated out of proportion or they helped the situation to the point where I no longer got bullied at school anymore because they realized I had five elder sisters that knew a, a lot of different fighting techniques, especially one of them. They took karate for, like, I don't know, like a few years and, and stuff like that. So they knew not to mess with me because I had sisters that were always behind me whenever I was uh, going through some stuff. Granted, we never been all in one school together. I think I've only been in school with, like, three of my sisters at once at one point. That's it. And the the moment where it's like it was a girl bully, I'm like them saying the reason why a girl would be picking on you is because she likes you. I'm not saying that's a bub all be all factoid, but let's just say my parents along with my sisters were completely right when I was in let's say let's go with like before I left New Orleans because of Hurricane Katrina. I had a girlfriend named uh, uh, let's just let's just call her Marie. Let's just say that her name's M Marie. But the reason why we got to, uh, were like like this was because we had the same last name and since we had the same last name every time they did roll call which they always said last name we always raised our hands even though clearly one came before the other due to their first name being before mine but it, it, it always happened because I always forgot she always forgot and that sort of thing and she started to pick on me a lot like crushing my hands in desks when I was just messing around dropped a book bookcase on me not like library level uh, levels of bookcase but like you know like probably like small Yes, but to the say she dropped it on me and it was purposely, not accidental, purposely, because she wanted to see me in pain. As soon as I uh, addressed my parents about this, they told me about the whole because they like you, stuff like that. Actually, I think even a teacher did that. Yes, my memory serves. A teacher said that in front of us, in the rest of the classroom. And guess what? We actually became a, a thing together. We always sat together at lunch. We always did stuff together. I went over to her house. We went over to my house. We spent a lot of time together her sisters got along with my sisters it was scary it was scary then hurricane katrina happened i never saw her again but whatever that's that's the story of my life good good nonetheless i almost crushed my friend's computer anyway the, the, the amount of stuff that goes on in the show makes me happy to see it this this one picture is like i i i, I live it it's great this is gonna be a thumbnail like i, I don't have to show it because it's a thumbnail but i love it and the last episode involving uh, the viral video thing, it's pretty much like every, uh, I, I, the, the, 
the message was going to come out like a mile away because we saw that in My Little Pony. We saw that in like any other show that does this is that you want to do something. You use other people uh, it, it to your expense, no matter how embarrassing or something they don't want uh, to begin with. And in this case, he did it without their permission, and which obviously they would have said no, but that's just it. Doing it behind their back and doing it without permission is definitely the worst things you can do. It's kind of like what the thing with the whole uh, reaction, uh, reaction community thing was going on with when it comes to uh, just taking other people's content, watching it, posting it out, and getting the views. That's why I usually, if not all the time, go uh, make sure that whoever I'm reacting to when it comes to fan-made uh, content... I, I see if they allow that, if they don't mind it, and if there is a certain thing I have to do, I'll be sure to do it. Just like the thing that happened with the Metaton versus Frisk video. Uh, the person kindly went to me and uh, uh, kindly wrote to me and said that they did not want this, and without a, like any sort of fighting with it, because I know how wrong it is, I took it down and made it all still frames, which she accepted, so I went with that. Same thing goes for everything else. So if you have the limitations on that, that's why I just do random series like this because it's just me promoting their uh, uh, it's me promoting their content. If they just want to like say we're not going to get monetized for it, perfectly fine. But if I'm in danger of getting my channel taken down, like with the old Steven Universe fiasco, I have to put it on Google Drive because that means it's safer, more reliable, and YouTube doesn't have to hate me. So. Yeah. So if this is one of those series where Nick can just say, okay, you won't get monetized, but you can, you feel free to upload it like that. Please tell me so I can, so future reactions of this show, which I really hope is a thing, because I, I really enjoyed this, like, utterly. And I love, I lo you know I enjoy a show if at the end of the show I talk a lot. You know this if you've been on my channel a lot. Uh, so... Yeah, uh, let's just say that this show is gonna uh, hit me. I don't know. I, I I don't know if you guys offered me this show because you guys knew of my predicament with my old sisters and I won't call it predicament. Just know my life with my sisters. Uh, but if you did, that's cool. If you didn't, well, look at that. How convenient. I can relate to this kid too much. So yeah, this is. Do you want to be a universe? I see. Cause it's I, wow. Uh, I. I'm actually really excited. I'm gonna. My, I think my last one to get to is uh, Wander Over Yonder, and it's gonna be hard to top this, like really hard. But Wander Over Yonder has been getting a lot of hype uh, when it comes to the suggestions to my channel, so there's that. So this is the only universe. See you guys next time. Bye.